Huh. That'll work. I have a long and proud history of making New Year's resolutions that fall completely flat on their face long before the end of the year, with the exception of one. On Christmas in 2014, I drank six cans of root beer. It was pretty obvious to me that swearing off soda would be a pretty simple and effective resolution, and for some reason, I was able to keep it throughout the entire year. At one point, I did actually drink some ginger ale without thinking about it, but it seems stupid to invalidate the entire thing just because of that. And look at me now. I barely drink soda at all, even today. I'm in fantastic shape. Okay, that's not true. I spend most of my day working at a computer, barely moving around. In order to avoid getting winded walking up the stairs, I've had a number of fitness-related resolutions that have all at some point or another failed. One year, I did two push-ups every day per day of the year. So on day one it was two, on day two it was four, on day three it was six, and so on. I was able to keep up with it for quite a while, until one day in late February I realized I'd forgotten to do them the previous day, so I had to do double the push-ups to make up for it. So over the course of a day, I did about 200 push-ups. Obviously, I wasn't able to do many the next day, or the day after, and that basically killed my resolution. I've realized that the best New Year's resolutions are more abstract goals than concrete targets, because it means nothing can really happen during the year to kill your resolution. Another valuable aspect is whether or not the resolution is opt-in. My soda resolution was as simple as not drinking soda. I was tempted now and then, but I wasn't having to force myself to actively not drink it, whereas I had to force myself to do push-ups every day. That brings me to this year's resolution. I wanted to do something fitness related once again, but I didn't want to fall into the traps of having a concrete goal or an activity with high friction. As I was trying to decide what to do, my neighbor threw this away. It's a bar that could be easily attached to any door frame and then used for pull-ups. Or, in the case of my scrawny arms, a singular pull-up. So that's my New Year's resolution. I put up the bar in a door frame I frequently walk through, and as often as I can, whenever I walk under it, I stop, do a pull-up, and continue on. That's about as low friction as a workout gets. Plus, I intentionally didn't say every time. Sometimes I'll be carrying something, and other times, such as last week, I might be too sick to even do one. If I skip a few throughout the year, or even every week, I still haven't failed. I can only fail if I completely stop doing pull-ups by the end of the year. Will I? We'll find out in about a year.